31st. Protesters in Oxford say the town will actually lose money if a power plant is built in that community. Town leaders say not true, and the argument all played out at Town Hall just a couple of hours ago. News Ace Ken Pierce breaks it all down for us. Protesters outside Oxford Town Hall. It's not the first time there's been a protest about a proposed power plant for the town. What's different this time is the grounds on which they are protesting. Purely money. That's all it is, is money. Money is the latest reason to protest the natural gas-fired power plant that a company called Competitive Power Ventures wants to build on a remote hillside near the Oxford airport. The Stop to Antic Power Coalition says the idea of power plant towers looming over the active adult community called Oxford Greens has already affected the real estate market. More homes, individual homes that are built already in Oxford Greens are up for sale. And the prices are lower than what they're truly worth. But Oxford's first selectman says there is no slowdown, especially at Oxford Greens, which is built next to a golf course. And I can tell you as a golfer who golf is, golfs that golf course many times, uh, it seems like every week I'm hitting a different house. Town leaders maintain the power plant will bring an increased tax revenue itself and bring jobs to the community. Well, I have an obligation to this town to get every bit of revenue that I can, every bit of income out of this that I can. And I'm and I'm going to um, and I'm going to uh, honor that obligation. There is no amount of tax revenue income to the town that would make me want to put the health and safety of my children and my fellow neighbors and friends in jeopardy. So the town says it is going to continue with the development of the power plant, and the protesters say they are going to continue to make this a hostile environment for any investors looking to put money into the project. In Oxford, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.